Hello and welcome to another episode of Hisku Talks. So, today here I have for you an absolutely <laughs> brilliant scooter that I was trying to get my hands on for a super super long time. And yeah, finally I have it. It's not mine, it's borrowed off my friend. But I desperately honestly wanted to try it out. And I tried it now here just a little bit, but I didn't try it on a proper bumps. So we're gonna jump on the scooter a little bit later, take it for a spin, try a couple of hills and everything. But let me share my thoughts on Ninebot Max G2. So first thing absolutely love this okay i absolutely love indicators my personal opinion it's the best place to fit indicators on electric scooter now we have another thing <laughs> that's a bit disappointing to be honest like that sounds like a toy okay now another brilliant feature on this scooter charging and why is that great so you need only this, okay? I had Nymoth Max G30, had the same built-in charger, and I loved this. So, pretty short charging cable in my pocket, and I can zip around all day, every now and then stop somewhere for a coffee, put it a bit on charge, and that's it. When it comes to folding mechanism, folding mechanism now slightly different, doesn't have that plastic ring anymore, it has this safety pin, and there you go you fold it and when it comes to weight hmm, okay uh, it seems lighter than the navi s65c now it of course oh okay we have a guess there it has a full suspension and this seems really nice but it's not all that perfect, unfortunately. So, looking at this mudguard, okay, I would love if the support also goes here, not just this here. So, this can be a bit tricky. But, let's jump on it and continue. Okay, so, let's try this toy. Uh, it has a nice torque, I have to admit. Regarding specs, it's a 36 volt system with a 15 amp hour battery. 551 watt hour or 553 I'm not sure now let's check how this toy works up the hill this is actually a pretty steep hill okay it didn't slow too much I just don't want to break my camera okay now let's do a loop here because I was actually never here in this part of the of the park yeah let's go around here yeah so as i said 36 volt system oh that's gonna be wow <laughs> i like suspension i really like suspension i'll show you suspension a little bit later you know but this is nice really nice uh claim the range 70 kilometers per charge we're gonna definitely test that one and uh, yeah, uh, of course, tubeless tires with anti-puncture jelly. And I now need to find a heel. Let's go here. Wow, this this part is of Phoenix Park is actually really nice. It was never here, first time. And this looks really nice. It would look even nicer if it was sunny, but it is what it is. So yeah, of course, it's fitted with tubeless tires, uh, with the anti-puncture jelly, that are actually usually working really nice. Riding it with one hand, no problem at all. Now, let's go here. Okay, these are... Yeah, I need to find a heel. I want to do a bit of a heel test. Uh, but it's not all that brilliant and perfect, unfortunately, when it comes to Nimbut Max G2, because there were already a couple of reports 
of them having problem with the uh, built-in chargers and there was also a couple of reports uh, with problems okay <laughs> with problems with the uh, front fork slash suspension so wow I'm just finding <laughs> I can't find a hill to test it out uh, <coughs> wherever I go I'm finding stairs will this be uh, some kind of a hill uh, this might be actually steep enough okay I just hope I'm not gonna fire a controller <laughs> it's not my scooter and controller is not too cheap but yeah I think we're just gonna go oh, okay I don't even know where I am now <laughs> I managed to get lost here uh, okay let's try here yeah okay I think I see a nice place where we're gonna do a hill test and like that's gonna be nicely steep hill uh, and I won't have yeah this is who this is gonna be tricky yeah I'll need to do I need to turn around somewhere and then go back let's see where yeah uh, let's try there okay there's a a bit of a steep hill yeah I think this will do the job because I don't want to do a hill with zero start so let's try this is okay yeah it's slowing down oh okay 10 kilometers per hour to me that's a sign give it a push before you fry a controller but this was really a pretty steep hill okay <laughs> probably a little bit too steep now let's move the camera and we'll check suspension okay so we move the camera and let's check suspension now I'm gonna try and find some bumps and we'll see how how things work but look at this oh boy this is so nice and soft and uh, like when I saw Mavi G2 with suspension I was like oh that's uh, that's nice but front suspension actually reminds me of a suspension on a 9 bot ES series and suspension on 9 bot ES series guys oh boy <laughs> that one is uh, like front uh, front and rear they are both I call them wannabe suspensions okay turning roundabout full throttle no problem at all mm. so uh, we actually have kind of a a bump in front and I'm actually going to try and hit almost every possible pothole just to see how this feels compared to let's say uh, Navi S65 okay let's see ooh yeah that that's that's really nice okay that is really really nice okay we're gonna go straight to the to the roundabout and uh, to see because that next roundabout if I remember it's a bit smaller and then that's going to kind of be all for uh, for this video and tomorrow if weather is going to be fine then we're going to do a range test and if I forgot to mention anything today I'll mention it tomorrow uh, but overall I don't know compared to uh, Navi S65C that was my kind of a favorite I really wasn't expect, expecting suspension to work this well I honestly really wasn't expecting this but this is oh this is soft this is we and if I lean forward like you know to put more stress on the front suspension this is nice this is absolutely nice but yeah I don't think we're gonna go all the way to that roundabout 
because I can see that it's pretty far so yeah listen guys uh, overall first impression love it absolutely love it okay we need to do a range test claim range is 70 kilometers so if that's right it should have even more range than Navi S65C on Navi S65C we got 35 kilometers with still 10% battery left so this should definitely be better uh, so yeah, uh, so far I love it. As I said, if I forgot, forgot to mention something, I'll mention in range test video. But that's going to be all for this time. Uh, if you like the video and you find it uh, informative, if you manage to learn something, give it a like. If you think it's going to be useful to someone, share it. If you want to support me, you can always, of course, buy me a coffee. Or uh, easiest and cheapest way to support me is actually to subscribe, share, comment, interact in any way to help YouTube algorithm pick up my YouTube channel and these videos and show it to more people. So yeah, till next time guys, please stay safe out there and respect other users. Bye bye.